I, I made a video about a week ago announcing this and so did Scotia Astro up in Scotland and uh, very soon after announcing it myself and uh, Steve of Scotia Astro realised that these weren't reaching focus with coma correctors. I tried my uh, Bard MPCC and um, I more recently I tried I bought this especially this is a TS GPU full frame f4 coma corrector I tried that because that's supposed to push the focal plane out 20 millimeters and that didn't really help in a way you might expect I'll explain that in a moment and I think Steve tried he tried a Nexus 0.75 coma corrector and one other coma corrector and um, Addy in South Korea who bought one of these, he tried a sharp star, had no luck. And after a bit of digging, it turned out that the only coma corrector we thought worked with this was the one that TS had on their, their website, which is the uh, Teleview Paracore, which is quite expensive, disproportionately expensive for the price of this. So I, my heart was sinking because we had announced this and it had all gone completely wrong. And obviously, on the back of that, I did, as soon as I realised that night that this this didn't work, as well as my barter, I raised the alarm and I made a video the other day. And so did Steve Scotia Astro as well. Now, I thought all was lost. I was being sent one more coma corrector. It's one we've not got in stock at the moment, but this was a demo model. This is the main body of a photo visual coma corrector that we sell, the, the Stella Lyra photo visual coma corrector for £99. And uh, I didn't hold much hope for it, really. I've, I was basically going through the motions at this point. I thought, well, I'll tick it off and then we're 100% we're sure it's, we've got to do something with this tube. We've got to either change this fairly tall focuser or we've got to shorten the tube a tiny bit or something we've got to do something to get this to reach focus so before i talk about the solution i want to just show you the problem that myself and a few other people who bought this were facing so once my bar didn't reach focus i bought this as mentioned i bought this ts1 because it was touted as pushing the focal plane out 20 millimeters Please excuse the noise in the background. We've got a speedway near us. Right, so if I pop my Sony on there with a M48T ring, that's going to give the correct 55mm backspacing for this. I'll turn that on now. Get the cap off there. I'm going to show you what I mean. This is what we were facing. Now, admittedly, this one did come quite close. Okay. So I'm focusing. Let me just uh, get out of there, I think. It's a bit dark. Let's bring that brightness up a bit. So focusing all the way in, it doesn't, I don't know if you can see that, it doesn't quite reach focus on that roof, which is all the way over there, about 100 meters away. It doesn't quite reach focus. Let's just level that off a minute. Okay. And because the focus is wrapped all the way in, the draw tube's all the way in, and it's in front of the primary mirror a little bit. Now, we can get around this by a little trick. We can remove this stop ring, just give us an extra little bit of travel. Screw that back on. I can only hope my head camera's pointing in the right direction. Else I'm filming all this again. Pop it in there again. And that's going to sit a bit further in now. And as we can see, it just about 
there's a bit of focus peeking on the screen now just about reaches focus but it's borderline the end of the coma crate is borderline sticking out the bottom of the focuser and we're wrapped all the way in and that focuser is impinging quite a bit of the mirror and i was finding that it was taking a bit of a chunk out of bright stars and it wasn't something that i thought was acceptable so really you can't really have the focus of racked in 100 percent there's no movement past focus and it was just impinging too much on that primary mirror so i was just going through we pretty much decided that we needed to do something drastic with this ota either slightly shorten it change the focuser somehow move the primary mirror up a bit uh something and then finally today this little beauty turned up now this Stella Lyra I don't have a good history with I tried it on my last Stella Lyra F4 I had a six inch Stella Lyra F4 which I love the telescope but when I tried it with this coma corrector I found that my my camera was just too far out from the focus it was like out on a stalk so i didn't really get on well with this coma corrector it's got 75 millimeters of back focus distance between the coma corrector and your sensor instead of the typical 55 so with this one we need to add an extra 20 mil of spaces well that's 20.8 add that to to there okay and then screw it on here because the camera and the t-ring makes it 55 and then we've got an extra 20 there which makes our 75 all right so when we put this one in i'm racking out to reach focus that's just brighten that a bit there we go i'm racking out to get the focus i'm roughly focused about there there's a focus peaking on the screen about there so now we've got a bit of outward focus and now the draw tube is clearing the primary mirror because we're racking out to reach focus and it's reaching focus so that completely took me by surprise and the beauty of this one as well as clearing the primary mirror of the draw tube and giving a bit of clearance either way you can go past focus and before focus as well as that this costs 99 pounds so the grand total for both this and this is less than 400 pounds for what what effectively makes quite a high quality astrograph with a carbon tube cnc spider veins so i went from being quite you know a bit stressed over the last few days to arguably quite ecstatic earlier when i discovered this now i don't sound as excited as i was because i'm quite tired now but I can assure you I'm over the moon about this and I think it's it's a real shame that we didn't realize this earlier we initially expected this to work with most coma correctors so when it didn't did some research saw that TS had this exact model with the same focuser and they were talking about the teleview paracore and we thought they must have gone through this process as well and that's the only one that worked with it disproportionately expensive someone in the comments did suggest the explore scientific hr as the as a more affordable equivalent to the power core and it also pushes the focal plane out 35 millimeters so i did suggest that early before discovering this but still that is 350 so it's still quite expensive and um, i've had lots of helpful suggestions from the comment section so really appreciate all the feedback that everyone's left i did spend a good couple of hours last night writing replies to comments but i do apologize if i couldn't get to everyone i looked at the clock and it was 11 o'clock at night and i just thought i've got to draw a line under this now <laughs> so i think i managed to answer you know 80 percent of the comments but if i missed your comment i do apologize but thank you for all the input that everyone gave to try and help sort of solve this now i am focused on a rooftop a good hundred meters away 
when I'm testing here, which is going to be pr for practical sake, it's infinity. But to be 100% sure, I do want to test this under the stars, and it does. It is clear at the moment, but it doesn't get dark till midnight, so I do need to try and stay awake late tonight to do one final test. So I'll catch you for that. Or if I don't get if it clouds over, this will be the end of the video. In which case, I want to thank everyone who chipped in and was really good about the problems that we went through with this the teething problems we went through with this i'm really pleased that the whole team's really pleased that we found a solution it's been a bit of a yo-yo up and down with this but we, we got there we got there cool right take care everyone big thank you to my channel members and patrons i'll catch you soon